Hey what's up guys welcome back to smartphone world the OnePlus Nord runs Oxygen OS out of the box that packs tons of essential features and in this video i have collected a list of useful tips and tricks for OnePlus Nord so that you can get the most out of your device before you get started this video is sponsored by Sprig a brand that offers premium tempered glass at affordable prices use coupon code 20off to get 20% discount on all tempered glass purchase from Sprig website check the links in description for more details In the latest version of Oxygen OS, if you long press the power button, we get Google Assistant instead of power menu. You need to long press the power button and volume up key to get to the power menu. To switch things back to traditional way, go to settings, buttons and gestures and in press and hold the power button option, choose power menu. And now if you long press the power button, you will get the power menu. The next tip is a life saving tip and I recommend everyone to enable this feature. In all Android phones, we have SOS feature. And in OnePlus Nord, if you press the power button thrice, emergency rescue mode will be activated. To set this up, go to Settings, Security and Lock Screen, and select Emergency Rescue. You need to add a contact for emergency service. I have already added Iron Man and Flash. Now let me add Quicksilver to my SOS list. You didn't see that coming. You also have option to set the preferred SOS action. I recommend everyone to set this up so that in case of emergency, you can use this option. The OnePlus Nord gets the 90Hz refresh rate screen which looks silky smooth but the catch is it will guzzle down the phone's battery quickly. If you are running low on battery and if you want to save your battery, you can switch your device to 60Hz refresh rate which reduce battery consumption. To choose between 60 and 90Hz refresh rate, go to settings, display, advanced, screen refresh rate and you can switch between the two based on your need. In display settings you also have screen calibration option which lets you to switch among different color profiles choose the one to your liking i will leave it on default vivid mode the dual cameras on OnePlus Nord does hinder the viewing experience you have the option to hide the front camera in display settings in front camera display area choose hide the front camera option as you guys can see a black bar will appear at the top of the display OnePlus have introduced new chromatic reading mode which unlike conventional reading mode only desaturate the screen to make it more easy to the eyes while retaining some colors to set this up go to settings display reading mode and choose chromatic effect the ambient display on OnePlus Nord gives minimal info like notifications and time in display settings and ambient display you have few options and you can select when the ambient display should appear on your phone select the ones you guys need so that it will be easy for you to access ambient display oxygen os has support for system wide dark mode which means if you set your phone to dark mode all system apps that support dark mode will be changed to switch your device to system wide dark mode go to settings customization preset theme and choose nuance dark theme or you can change the tone to dark this will change the overall look and feel of your OnePlus Nord in Android 10 OnePlus have baked all the customization features under one section where you can customize whole bunch of things like wallpaper clock style font and icon pack i personally like what OnePlus has done here as we can easily customize anything on our phone in one section Even though OnePlus Nord is a budget smartphone, it packs a quad camera setup like OnePlus 8. OnePlus Nord gets a dedicated macro sensor to get close up shots. Use the floor icon in top right corner to enable macro mode. You can switch among ultra wide, normal and 2x zoom option using the three dot icon. If you long press the icon, you will see a carousel and you can go up to 10x zoom. Like Samsung, OnePlus also have introduced super steady mode that uses both OIS and EIS to cut down jitter while recording video. Go to video mode and choose the handshake icon on the top corner to enable super steady mode on your device. Under camera settings, you also have option to shoot 80 to 30 seconds long exposure shots if you mount your device on a tripod. OnePlus have provided tons of software features to take full advantage of OnePlus Nord's camera hardware. OnePlus Nord supports Android's updated navigation gestures. To set this up, go to settings, buttons and gestures, navigation bar and gestures and choose navigation gestures. You can see quick animation to demonstrate how to use all the available gestures. You can swipe left or right on the bottom screen to flip between the recently used apps. In buttons and gestures, go to quick gesture option and you can see a lot of shortcuts such as three finger screenshot, double tap to wake and much more. Enable the ones you need for your ease of access. OnePlus Nord has in display fingerprint sensor for security. When the display is off, it will be difficult to locate the fingerprint sensor. To solve this problem, go to settings, privacy and lock screen. fingerprint unlock and enable the pick up your phone to show and tap the screen to show option so that you can easily locate the fingerprint sensor in the lock screen 
In OnePlus Nord, you have quick launch option that lets you to quickly launch apps once you unlock your phone using the fingerprint sensor. Under Utilities, you have option to add apps to this quick launch menu. Even though OnePlus Nord has a good battery life, you may need to save your battery in current situation. To save battery, go to Settings, Battery, and you have the Battery Saver option that helps you to increase the longevity of battery in current situation. You also have options to turn on Battery Saver automatically. OnePlus Nord also has Optimize Charging feature that will help to protect your battery if you are charging your phone overnight. If Optimize Charging is on, once the battery reaches 80% mark, charging will be stopped. OnePlus Nord has inbuilt screen recorder option. You can find the screen recorder option in quick toggles. The inbuilt screen recorder can record internal audio. For all mobile gamers out there, now you can record high quality gameplay videos just with your device. OnePlus Nord also has support for live captions which can be found in quick toggles. The next trick will help to protect your private photos and apps from your sneaky friends. Oxygen OS has a secret hidden space which can be accessed by swiping left from app drawer. If you add apps to hidden space, it will not be visible anywhere in your system. To unhide the apps, go to hidden space, long press the icon and choose unhide. The app will now be visible across the system. You also have option to set password for hidden space. If you are someone who shares your device with your friends, hidden space will protect your privacy. In OnePlus Nord, you have option to delete backed up photos automatically after a particular period of time. You can use the storage manager to manage the space on your device. To set up storage manager, go to settings, storage and turn on storage manager option. You can also choose when to remove the photos based on your preference. OnePlus have decided to remove the gaming mode and turn it to a standalone app called GameSpace. This app is a one-stop shop for access to all your games with bonus gaming features added to the mix. Here you have options to enable fanatic mode, answer calls via speaker, improve graphics and much more. Choose the ones you need to enjoy uninterrupted gameplay. You can use the plus icon to add games and you can also add apps such as YouTube, Netflix to gaming mode so that you can enjoy uninterrupted experience. OnePlus have given a lot of priority to digital well-being. In Oxygen OS, you get Zen mode, work-life balance mode and digital well-being. In Oxygen OS, OnePlus have introduced work-life balance mode that helps you to balance both your work and life. Go to settings, utilities, work-life balance mode and have two modes work mode and life mode. You have options to mute tab and schedule each mode based on location and time. I would recommend you to configure each mode based on your need. To enable digital well-being, go to settings, digital well-being and parental controls and choose digital well-being where you can see all the statistics of your phone's usage. You have bedtime mode and focus mode that lets you to mute applications and notifications so that you can focus on your task. You also have an option to set timer to restrict app usage. For example, let's say I am a gaming addict who loves to play games for entire day. I can go to digital well-being and go to dashboard and customize the time I can use the particular app. As you can see, I have set the time limit for games. Once I cross the time, I will not be able to play the game. If you are someone who want to focus in your studies or job, then I would suggest you to enable digital well-being. So these are my top tips and tricks for OnePlus Nord. If you guys have any unique trick for OnePlus Nord, please do comment below. Before we conclude, a word from our sponsor, Spring, a brand that creates premium affordable temper glass for smartphones. You can buy Spring temper glass from Amazon, Flipkart or Spring Store. You can download Spring app from Play Store and iOS app is coming soon. All links will be in description. If you guys find this video useful, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to Smartphone World for more tech videos. As always, do what you love no matter what the outcome is. I'll see you all in the next video and you guys have a great day.